My name is Cannabis Rollins. My journey is beginning. A journey that I hope will open the doors of life to me and link my past with my future. A journey that will bring me to a strange and dark place. From Hammerfell to Skyrim to a house called Rollinwood. A world that I have never known with people I have never met. People who tonight are still only shadows in my mind, but who will soon fill the days and nights of my tomorrow. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. My travels have brought me back to Riften. There's a lot here for me to do. And I'm so hungry. My thirst. Maven. So good to it's see almost you overwhelming. Hoist the flag and then celebrate I need with to me. find Ooh. something I can it's do where I can feed. When you're standing downwind of me. Is there Sorry. something I can do for what you? Was that? Nothing, Bogan. Cheers. You. Looking for work? I need someone to deliver a message to Sibby Blackbriar. All right, very well. What sort of message? Ah, well, I recently approached Sibby Blackbriar about buying Frost, one of the finest breeding horses in Skyrim. He agreed to sell. I paid Sibby half the cost of Frost up front, but before he could deliver, Maven had him locked up. Sibby believes this exempts him from our deal. It does not. I want you to talk to Sibby for me. Then I want you to bring me Frost and the lineage papers that prove the horse's worth. It sounds easy enough. Good man. You won't regret it. Head to the Riften Jail and talk to Sibby. Get him to tell you where Frost and his lineage papers are and bring them to me outside Riften. You'll be well paid for your time. And why don't you tell Sibby yourself? I'm not exactly comfortable around guards or jails. Definitely not when associates of mine have been locked up. No, I'll meet you outside of town. <laughs> yeah, that's the easy way out. Tell me, why is Sibby in jail? No idea, but whatever he did, it must have angered Maven. No guard would lock up a Blackbriar without the old lady's permission. I'm telling you, the investment... I'll meet you outside of town. So I pay for the Very weapons well. and you oversee their distribution to the storm. Exactly. All right, let me go talk to this city. I decided to leave Vladimir at home, so he can continue to manage things there. I think it's best that I travel alone, at least for now. And I'm also thinking about joining the Thieves Guild and Vladimir is just not that type of person to bring. I need to get in. Hey, you're not supposed to be down here. Official business only. And that's why I'm here, for official business. Oh, my mistake then. Sorry, you can go on ahead. I hunger. Longer I can hold out. Well, you must be Sibby. Have you come to gawk at me, or is this a social call? Why are you in jail? Look, we all have our flaws. 
Mine is that women can't get enough of me. I'm sure. So I had this little affair going on while I was betrothed to a beautiful girl named Svidi. Well, she finds out and she tells her brother Wolfer that her brother attacks me with a knife. I, I mean, I had to defend myself. So you were arrested for his murder? Exactly. Now I have to stare at these bars for eight months. Can you believe it? I was about to let that wench marry into the richest family in Ripton, and this is how she repays me. I'd do anything to have that whore's head on a platter. All I need to know is where she is. And I'm to understand that you're only serving eight months for murder. It's interesting. And look at your accommodations. It looks like you're living in the lap of luxury. But I'll help you find her. Ah, that's the spirit. Find her and I promise you'll be well compensated. I'm sure I will be. But anyhow, I was here. I'm sent here by Louis Latrush. Wait a minute. Let's talk about why you're only serving for eight months. Yeah, mother thought I should be taught mother. a lesson for airing the family's dirty laundry in public. I mean, I've taken care of many people for her in the past. What in oblivion did she expect me to do? Ah, well, at least I have all the comforts of home during my stay. Obviously. Well, except the touch of a woman, of course. Of course. All right. So, this woman I'm looking for, do you have any information on her? She was a young woman. Was? With long, flowing black hair. She used to sing the most lovely songs to me when we were courting. I've never heard a voice so beautiful. All that talent will go to waste when I'm finished with her. <laughs> Tell me about your family. When speaking of the Blackbriars, only one thought should spring to mind. We are not to be trifled with. Help us, you end up rich. Cross us, and you'll end up a memory. Is that enough information for you? <laughs> it's an interesting story. Anyhow, the reason I'm here is because I was sent by Louis Latrush. Ah, and let me guess. He wants his horse. Well, that's going to be a bit of a problem. See, I don't really outright own Frost. You don't own the horse that you've already sold to Lertrush. That is correct. You see, Frost belongs to the Blackbriar estate. Technically, everything in the estate is owned by my mother, Maven. My plan was to take the horse from our lodge and deliver it to Latrush at the stables. Obviously, that didn't exactly work out as I'd planned. Still, I don't want to cross the trush. Tell you what, steal the horse and deliver it, and you can have the second half of the payment. You know, I bet Maven would pay me even more for this info. Sure, take advantage of the guy in jail. Okay, fine, I can make the deal sweeter. I obviously don't have anything here, but there's a hidden stash in the lodge. And I did manage to hold on to the key. Take it. Thank you. And I have added you to my list of people to eliminate. Let's go. Hail Summoner. Conjure me up a warm bed, would you? get away with it, I would kill you where you sat. All right, what time is it? All right, almost two o'clock in the morning, it should give me enough time to get to this Blackbriar Lodge.
interesting. Just want to make sure I'm going in the right direction. in the area too. Let me find out what what this is over here. I heard a bandit. All right, well it doesn't look like the cave is anywhere near. Crossbow, the first shot hardly did any damage. And this woman wasn't even aware that I was here. But now it's time for me to quench my thirst, my hunger. be frost. Mm, but I can't steal you without the lineage papers. Just wait there.
Stop Keep her. your spells away from me. Surely you see a dead body there in the doorway. Someone there? Someone there? Hmm. Nothing here after all. It's all 250 gold. Color mealy chestnut, it seemed like that horse was white. <laughs> Whatever. Sounds like someone's right outside this door. eating tonight. Told him to just hand over the gold, but did he listen? <laughs> oh no. It all is up.
Ravens gotta keep their knife in the boot. Tired of getting disarmed. <laughs> Standing right there. Or sitting. Told him to just hand over the gold. But did he listen? <laughs> People really can't see me. I think that's the last. Oh, and look at this, another of these unusual gems. Sure, probably everyone in this building is too powerful. of this place. All right, it's 6.30 in the morning. Huh. There'd be 
nice if I could wait here. But I've fed enough. I should be able to to tolerate the sun. Oh, good. It's raining as well. All right, let's find this Latrash. be here somewhere. Feels like I'm right on top of him, yet I don't see a thing. Ah, here he is. Latrash. Ha! You've done it! Got to admit, I wasn't sure you could pull it off. But you've definitely earned your pay. Sir, if you were dead, I could keep the horse. Now, wait a minute. No need to do anything drastic. Look, keep the horse, all right? Then we all walk away happy. See what that one is. You know, these people are just so trusting here in Skyrim that he really thought I was going to give him this horse. <laughs> discover earlier. But I'm gonna take advantage of this rain since I can exist out here without being damaged. Ah, here we are, Fallow Stone Cave.
not even raining anymore. Hi there. Get them before they're gone. The fairest horses huh? and the hottest huh? ball in Skyrim. Yes, get out of my way. All right, yes. I think it's time for me to speak with Brynjolf. <laughs> <laughs> 